Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to run a task or a job over SSH in a remote host. So we already have configured this remote host. So the only one thing that we need to do is to create a job and test it. So let's click a new item and let's give it a name. Let's say that it's going to be called remote task, for example. You can call it whatever you want. So let's click on freestyle project. Let's click on OK. And I'm pretty sure that you are now a little bit familiar with this screen. And now in the build section, let's look for execute shell script on remote host using SSH, as you can see here. So we're going to choose this. And as you can see, this has a drop down with all the credentials with all the hosts that we have configured. So far, we have only configured one SSH site on the configured Jenkins section. That's why it's only coming up one. But if you want, you can create more. So we already specified that we want to run this command on this host. So let's do the same thing that we did previously, like name Ricardo, and let's run something like echo hello name current date and time is the output of the date command. Cool. So now we're going to redirect this in a file that say temp slash remote file. So now I have a question for you. And that question is, what do you think that's going to happen when I save this job and when I view this job? What do you think that's going to happen? Where is the file going to be created? Is it going to be created in the Jenkins container? Or is it going to be created outside of the container? Or is it going to be created in the remote host container? What do you think that's going to happen? So let's click on build now and let's find it out. Remember that we named the file like slash temp slash something like remote something, I don't remember. So let's click on console output. And as you can see, the name is slash temp slash remote file. Cool. So this output tells us that this SSH script already started. Here is the execution and it completed successfully. So, okay, let's go to our terminal. Let's go ahead inside of the Jenkins container. And if we look for this file, let's see if we have this file. And the answer is no, we don't have this file. Mm. So let's look outside of the container in here. Let's have a look and find out if this file exists in here. Nope, this doesn't exist here. So this only marks one possibility. And this one means that the file should be in the remote host. So let's go ahead into the remote host bash. Let's look for that file. And as you can see, the file is created in the remote host as we were expecting. So what did just happen here? And that's pretty simple. Remember, we created a connection. We configured a connection over SSH from Jenkins to the remote host. So from Jenkins, we're connecting to this host through the SSH plugin and we're running the task, which is a simple task that creates a file on the remote host. So this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next lesson.